Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of May 18th through the 24th. We're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for Aquarius for the week of May 18th through the 24th? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. We're going to get an overall energy. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is still fluid. So what do we have for an overall energy this week? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is security. You know, so it's all about security. It's about your security. It's about um, permanence. You know, there could be some... You know, it's about prosperity this week. Something about a legacy or family matters. Something about the family and the home. There could even be... You know, look at we got this wise elder over here giving a blessing of some sort. Something is going on in your family. There's a, there's a lot of comfort. There's a lot of abundance, stability, building a stable home. So this is about your home and it's about your stability. So this week is about your stability, your financial stability, um, your happiness. Your family, focusing on your family this week, perhaps. But the tens are completions. So it makes me wonder what this is. Because this is a completion, maybe within an establishment. There could be a change, okay? Tens are completions. A change in your home. A change in who, who you live with. Or a change in the family a hierarchy or hierarchy or however you pronounce it. Whatever, whatever it is, there's something to do with your home this week, a change in your home. Hmm. Focusing on, you know, a permanent situation. Be a change, a change of residence. Because tens are completions, which is interesting. Now this could be passing on, passing on the family legacy, passing on a fairly, uh, family heirloom or something like that. Now, it's interesting because we're going to do Monday through Friday, but we got these four cards that fell out, so we're going to do Monday and Tuesday. So mon Monday into Tuesday like this. So Monday, we have the Nine of Wands and the Emperor. Tuesday, the Justice reverse and the Hangman reverse. Somebody's not learning a lesson, refusing to go in, refusing to change. Uh, not Definitely not seeing a situation clearly on Tuesday. There's an injustice. Something not turning out the way you had hoped. Maybe could be fearful of legal implications. Somebody could be in a contract that they are staying in because they don't want to deal with the change. They don't want to deal with the legal issues or whatever that could arise. Um, on Monday, it looks like we have a warrior here, a protector, a father, or a masculine energy that is looking at a very wounded individual that is has their guard up. This person has their guard up, is protective, doesn't dare to let anybody in, has faced some serious life struggles. So we have them. This is a very masculine energy here. The emperor is somebody that is very. It is. It's a very masculine energy. This person is is coming up with a plan or has a plan or is making a plan but there's there's some sort of fight or battle so it's like I, I think on Monday there could be a fight there could be an occurrence or a challenge so it likes it's like it feels like man versus woman here and I, and I understand that there's same-sex re relationships there, you could so just say feminine versus masculine okay whatever you want to don't get all worked up over shit like that Anyway, um, we have a very mass, we have, we have, a, it's like a battle. We have a power struggle or a battle. It's like this, there's some sort of occurrence or challenge on Monday with a, with a masculine. This guy is just very calm and relaxed and it's like this person comes at him ready to fight. So I don't know, I'm with you, you know, there could be a fight on Monday or an argument or something like that. Because this guy's just sitting here very calm and collected and under control. A complete master. And I don't know if this has to do with children. It could be a fight over the children or argument over children. doesn't have to be. 
or over another person, but this person's coming in challenging this individual. And it's like, I feel like this masculine is sitting back almost laughing at this person's um, antics. This person's, uh, on Monday, there's an individual that just wants to fight, you know, just wants to fight for some reason. And this guy's just like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So I feel like there's some petty situation happening on Monday with an individual that is hurt for some reason and wants to fight. So somebody may, may be poking an individual that doesn't want to fight. It's like, this guy doesn't want to fight. It's like, you know what? I'm comfortable, very comfortable, very poised, very put together, very structured, um, very hard to break, okay, unbreakable masculine here. This is unbreakable, dealing with an individual that likes to fight on Monday, so yay, yay. So Tuesday, get you know, Monday it looks like it could be, there could be a challenge where the masculine is going to handle it just perfect because he's like, you're an idiot in his head um Tuesday no you feminines can take on the emperor energy as well so you just take this however you want this is taking charge being in control being in complete control so we do have one person that is going to remain under control when this person comes at them. So yeah, there's going to be an argument on Monday. Tuesday, justice reversed. And remember, the timing is fluid. This could be Tuesday. This could be Wednesday. The timing is fluid. Justice reversed. This is an injustice. This isn't fair. Something not turning out the way that you had hoped or the way that they had hoped. It feels like, I feel like this is the other person. Somebody may feel, say to you, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. You know, they may come at you like that. Something isn't fair. There could be lies. There could be deception. Okay, with justice reversed, somebody may not be telling the truth. Let's get the rest of the cards. Wednesday. Thursday. Ooh, Friday. Wow, you got a lot of karma here. I was going to say it, but then I said, I got to get the rest of the cards. Karma, karma. Justice is a card of karma, and this is the judgment card, and they're mirroring each other. So there's a, there's, a there could be some upcoming court legal issues, okay, just saying. Somebody may be filing for something, or they get some sort of papers, or it's time for a divorce, or something like that, or there's some upcoming... Um, hearings or something to do with the law coming up and you could be I'm not, and this could be a judge I mean I don't know what is going on here but something about making a judgment call interesting so anyway Saturday and Sunday So, on Monday, there's some sort of argument, okay? There's some sort of situation that is going to cause an, or need somebody to remain in control. Maybe somebody's going to need to master their emotions, remain in control, don't leap out of your seat. You know, somebody, you may hear something that, uh, from an individual that is blaming or poking or has a victim mentality or who knows what it is. Monday, I think there's, it's going to be so there's going to be some turbulence, but the person that is being poked is going to handle it very, very well. Okay, being in complete control, not interested in fighting, uh, not interested, just not interested. So that's that's great. That's great. This person may want to fight, but they're not going to get their wish. <laughs> so kudos for you. On Tuesday, there's something that is there could be some bad luck or something like that with the ju justice reversed, okay? Um, there's a lack of, of in integrity. Somebody's not telling the truth. They're lying. Uh, something is... Um, somebody's not happy. They're not happy with the outcome. They don't want this change, okay? They may... Uh, there could be an argument with no resolution in sight. It continues because you got you're being poked. Somebody's being poked, okay? And we have a somebody that is obsessed with control. 
The hangman is an individual that is obsessed with control. And they are refusing to let go. Okay? They have a really big, 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 big ego. They will not change. They're fighting their inner self. And they're hiding something. So we have a liar on Tuesday that is hiding something. They may be pretending to be somebody that they are not. Or uh, for some reason, they're just not happy with that justice reverse. They're not happy. They're unwilling to accept whatever this change is. You know, for some of you, it's a divorce. It's a divorce. It's talks of a divorce or a split or something. And whoever you're dealing with does, doesn't want to let go. So on Tuesday, this is hanging on. Hanging on and, and, and fighting. It's like litigation or trying to mediate or medi yeah, mediate. Trying to change somebody's mind when you can't really. If it's, if, it's, if, there's, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Anyhow, so I feel like Tuesday, Monday. And that's why these cards all came out together. Because it's Monday into Tuesday. So it just keeps on going. That's where they came. It goes. It, it keeps on going. This person, it starts on Monday and... You know, by the end of Tuesday, there's it's still a struggle, okay? I'm just being honest with you. We have somebody here that is really controlling, and they do not like to lose control. And therefore, they, they fight because they feel like they're losing the power. They feel like they're losing the control, and they're not willing to let go. They're not willing to let go for some reason. So on Wednesday, we have the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So this is about emotions. Um... Now, she's drinking from her own cup. So we have a feminine energy that is deciding to love herself. And, and, is, and you know, this could be a masculine because masculines have feminine in them as well. We all have both. So we have an individual that is deciding to love themselves. Um, this is self-love. And then tens, you know, tens are completions. So this has to do with a relationship. It has to do with happiness. I think we have the end of a relationship here and I am not trying to, you know, hurt anybody. But tens are completions and a lot of people don't read it as such. But they are. Nine is closure. You're going from one to ten. One is the new beginning. Ten is the completion. I mean, come on now. So, I think we have a relationship that has reached its peak. I think it's reached its peak or it's reached, it's over the hump, okay? It's done. I, I just feel like it's over. I feel like there's some children involved here and I feel like we have an individual that is deciding to turn their back on a relationship that is no longer stable, okay? I don't think it's stable. It's it's like, it's, I don't know, I just don't think it is. Well, take a look at the tower. Okay, we get the tower on the next day. I do not think it's stable. I don't, I don't. I think we have a relationship, you know, it's saying goodbye almost, you know what I mean? I feel... Yeah, so I feel like we have somebody, I think it's going to be emotional. I think Wednesday is going to be emotional where there's talks of, you know, the children and talks of the memories and going over the relationship, you know, and, and doing what's right for you. You know, somebody is making a choice to, you know, do what, do what they need to do for themselves. The Queen of Cups is, is very um, intuitive. Um... For some of you, if if you are, um, well, Wednesday is about, it's a very, it's going to be a sensitive day. It's sensitive, it's emotional. There's emotions that are running high. It's about finding peace from within. Now, this rainbow is the storm is over. Okay, the storm is over. Somebody's been in a stormy situation and this is a finding peace after the storm is over. Peace within yourself. So I think that we have an individual that is turning their back on a relationship that, you know, it was very comfortable for a while. It was very comfortable. It was, you know, they made a family with this person or, you know, they... They live together, you know, and they had a good run, but I just don't, I, I just don't, I don't, I feel like it's over. I do. I feel, I have to be honest with you. I do. And now we have this rude awakening, this major disruption. Temperance comes after death and you see the rainbow again. Okay. So this is uh, an evolution. This is a change. Okay. 
something has died and it's time to accept and allow change on on Thursday. This is a rude awakening. This is a this is an, an explosion of emotions, okay? But this is a mastering emotions, being in the flow, accepting that this isn't stable, accepting that this isn't solid, okay? Because something is probably there could be another fight, okay? This could be an accident or a fight or this is this is a breakup. It really is. So whatever is going on this week, I feel like we have a split. We have a breakup from a false contract, false 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 sense of security contract. I feel like somebody um is, has changed. They're not the same person that they used to be. And, and there's a lot of conversation coming up about, you know, reality. So anyway, on, on Thursday, I feel like there's allowing, accepting change, finding balance, um, managing feelings. You know, temperance comes after death, comes after uh, comes after some sort of upheaval. So it's healing after a major disruption. And yes, there is going to be a disruption. So I feel like it's going to be a day of feeling it on the inside, feeling the changes going on, feeling the internal, uh, you know, this is an internal disruption, but accepting it and feeling it and seeing it from a new perspective and allowing it to happen. This is really feeling the changes that are going on on, on Thursday, okay? This is feeling it. You're going to be feeling an internal disruption in regards to your evolution on Thursday. I mean, I can't. That's what it is, okay? Something has ended and you may have been fighting it. You have been fighting it because it was comfortable, right? It was serving its purpose. So you were fighting this change, but the universe says you can't fight it. So they, they force you to, to feel it. So you're going to be feeling some sort of internal disruption over what you've been avoiding on Thursday. So on Friday, we have the judgment card, which is labeled karma and the four of pentacles. So that is holding on. Okay, the four of pentacles, we have an individual here that is holding on, obsessed with holding on, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. And they're holding on because of the financial reasons. They're hiding, holding on for the stability of it, perhaps the home, you know, or, you know, the social pressure, because ten of pentacles really does have to do with social pressure. It does. It does. So I feel like, or, you know, the... Maybe they, you know, they got married because of the commitment of it. You know, whatever social pressure or financial stability. S seriously, somebody is holding on because of the stability of the whole situation. But, but this is an awakening. This is an epiphany. This is definitely um, a truth being revealed. Okay, this is the end of things. Judgment, you think about Judgment Day, is the end of things. It is. You have Judgment Day, what are you doing? You're going over the ending. This is what this week is about. So, I think on Friday, it's judging the situation. Um, being judged, perhaps. There could be an upcoming, you know, could be filing for... Um, divorce or or I don't know judgment and justice right there mirroring each other reversed or not has to do with court rulings or something like that so somebody could be getting some papers or some, what not to go to court um, but that judgment card is a card and in some you know karma for holding on for material reasons you gotta be careful for that shit okay there's karma for being materialistic Okay, so just 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 beware, just beware. It's not what God wants. Okay, so when you do have Judgment Day, you're gonna go over the reasons that you stayed in a relationship for financial reasons. So just put that in your back pocket. So anyway, um, seriously, that's not what you were brought down to Earth for. Was to have that fancy house and all those things out back. You were brought down to be in love, to, to show love. And I'm not saying that you don't show love. I know that you do. You're very loving. But if you're not in a loving relationship, if you're staying in a relationship just for the fact of it being a relationship, well, 
there's karma for that. That's not right for anybody involved. It's not right for you and it's not right for the person you're with. It's not fair. It's not fair to keep somebody bound to a relationship where there is no love. It's not fair to anybody, even the children. So anyway, um, somebody is holding on for financial reasons and that is it. And, if it, and this could be a job. And some people will say it's a job because they still don't want to own up to the fact that it's their relationship. I get that a lot. Oh, it's my job. Well, fuck you. That's a lie. Whatever. Anyhow, so I think on um, Friday, there's being judged, awakening, an awakening, a wake-up call, an epiphany. Somebody may get an epiphany that they're holding on just for financial reasons. Just saying. On Saturday, we have the Seven of Pentacles versus the King of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles reverses is unrealistic. It's a dissatisfying. There's no growth. This is a dead end. They've thought about it long enough, but again, it's financially stable. Holding on for financial reasons. Holding on for the stability. This is... You know, it's big. This is this is huge stability. It is. Somebody is dealing with, an, or they are being very practical. They're being very cunning. They're being very um, business-like. And all they care about is their uh, financial stability. They're holding on for financial stability. Yeah, but there ain't none, no more coming. Okay, it's time to relocate. So there's going to be a relocation. So we have an individual here that is a very hard worker, has all the skills to succeed, but they need to relocate. They do need to relocate. There's no growth where they're at. So once they relocate, they will have a bigger opportunity. So we do have a very smart man or masculine or energy here that has a huge golden opportunity to manifest something huge if he relocates, he or she. Somebody needs to relocate. So I think this the Saturday is about making the plans to relocate or actually relocating. Let's get another card for that. That's planning. King of Pentacles is a planner. Definitely a planner. Somebody that is very smart, solid, stable, wants long-term stability, will do anything, for, but knows that he needs to relocate. So he's. we do have a, a very smart man or individual here that is turning their back on a situation that has no more growth. This person is very practical, very real. Hard, hard, hard working. Business oriented. So this may be for your business for some of you. Ah, oh, wow. Look at the pentacles. All pentacles on Saturday. Now this is on thin ice where they're at. Sinking. Somebody is sinking. Or about. Or they feel like they're going to sink. They feel like they're on thin ice. So they need to go someplace warmer. <laughs> they need to go someplace where they won't... Um, fall. They won't fall through the crack. They won't go under. Interesting. It's too cold. You know, the, we, we have an individual on Saturday that really wants financial stability and that is their main focus. So they're going to be leaving behind an unrealistic situation. This is unrealistic. This is dissatisfied with their current financial situation. So they're they're moving. Somebody is moving. Mm -hmm. They've been staying in a situation hoping that, you know, things would get better. But on Saturday, this is like, you know, it's funny. I don't see no bull. But I feel like I, what I just heard in my head was taking the bull by the horns. And I don't even see a bull. So I don't know where that is. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus, but I don't know. Somebody's probably dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This, whoever you're dealing with, this person is in it for the money. They're in it for the money. That's it. That's it. That's the only reason they're in it. They feel like you can take care of them financially.
whatever. Anyhow, um, so I think maybe that's the realization on the day before, you know, realization that I'm better off on my own. Maybe this, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whoever they are, maybe they're on thin ice. Somebody is using somebody for financial stability. That's what I see. And this could be a wake-up call. A wake-up call right here. Sunday. It's all about happiness. Sunday is a day of just being yourself. Uh, vibrating very happy. I mean, vibrating very highly. Thinking positive. This is a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. This is a life-giving energy. It's enlightenment on Sunday. This is a new life. It's a new day. It's a breakthrough. Interested in something else. Whereas you weren't interested, now you are. This is seizing a new opportunity, letting go of regret, looking forward now. It's the end of stagnation, being interested about something new. So on Sunday, and that's moving to this warmer place or taking, going to a warmer place or making plans to something like that. Something about the heat. Moving to where it's warmer. If something to do with the heat or moving where it's warmer, I believe. Interested. Wasn't interested, but now I am. Now I'm interested in my happiness. This is extreme happiness. This could be a renewal or a rebirth or a new beginning. A new beginning that leads to a new love, perhaps. A new life. Interested. In a new life. So I feel like on Sunday. This is like a rebirth. It's a renewal. It's, it's feeling free. Free from discontent. Free from sadness. I'm ready. I'm ready for my new life. On Sunday we have a new beginning here. Where there's, we have a breakthrough. Where somebody decides that they are ready. So anyway. So it's a new day. Sunday is a new day. So it, I think it's a it's a it's a week of of, of uh, internal disruption, and realizing that somebody could be dealing with an individual that is just they are just together for financial reasons, and that's it. So that's what I got. I think that Sunday is a new day. It's a breakthrough where somebody decides that, you know, they start to see another opportunity. They start to see the positive. They start to see the positive, a positive future. You know, they, they, they start to see that they missed an opportunity or that they were missing out on something by holding on to whatever this is that is uh, financial or stability, you know. I'm interested in a happy life rather than a materialistic one. Now, I know a lot of people are like, happy judgment day. Good luck.